Hi everyone, so I recently received a few um, requests on Surfer Social to film my, uh, how I film and edit my videos. So I'm going to take you through how I adjust my camera, to angles, to focusing, to taking my battery, to my overall layout, and then my filming layout obviously. And editor I use, so stay tuned. So of course I start off by taking my battery off my um, charger because it's been charging all night. So I just stick into the bottom part of where um, and the battery portable part is. And that was a bit of a struggle trying to get it in. <laughs> so switching on my iPod, I use a torch for an overhead light. I have like a little basin that sits on top of my camera. A little bit to invest in actually getting a proper um, light. So of course I switch my camera on. I adjust my camera into the right position. Focusing, you know it's focusing because it's a green flashing square. And I press record, record where I got to record, but I got to record. So here's an overview of my filming area. And yes, my makeup desk is a mess because I obviously just did my makeup. And this is my um, desk that I sit by her, uh, in front of and my Peterson chair. Here's my big ass mirror that I used behind. It's like my giant articulating screen. I just, as you can see, um, when I'm sitting in my chair, I can just basically see the back of my camera in the mirror. So when I switch my camera to live view, I can see myself in it. And just make sure that I'm focused, make sure that I'm recording. So this is the makeup that I did um, for this video within the video. So of course I'm going to take you through with um, how I did it. So of course I'll first switch off my camera, and then I'll take out the battery. And then i take out the SD card. So then I just fit my battery back onto the power point, which just hangs off my underwear drawer. So of course fits, uh, fitting my battery into it and you know when it's on because um, the red light or orange light will start flashing at you. So sticking um, the charger into my mum's laptop because that's what I use for um, device. That's what I use for my editing device or whatever. So of course fitting her password in but you guys don't really need to see that obviously. So you get a nice view of my mattress. I'll well, eventually put a sheet on. So that one the old web page. So taking my SD card, I'm obviously going to stick it to the side of the computer. So once my um or once the computer has registered my card, I'm then normally I do use um uh, Final Cut Pro, but because my sister doesn't have a hard drive and Final Cut Pro takes up so much room, I've been using iMovie a lot lately. So of course opening up iMovie and creating a new project and obviously creating a movie. So going up to the top of the list where it says my movie, I'm going to then go to the top of the editor where there's a drop arrow. As you can see, um, about the second one down is where my SD card is, um, or the title for it. So all my files have been received, so um, I just click and drag to highlight them all, so I can um, import them all at once. And of course this little transparent circle will then tell me how much time it's got to import the video, so about 17 minutes to go. So as I'm just chilling on my bed eating an apple, I just stack away while I'm waiting. So once it's finally um, imported, I then start the restart of the first clip obviously. And I usually always say, um, hey guys or hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. That's usually my intro speech, I guess you could say. So I was boosted at the volume so I could hear myself. So my key buttons for this um, is the I button, the space button to pause and play and of course the O button to end the clip and the E button to add the clip into the timeline and that little scale just helps to shrink the clip or expand it and as of course boosting the volume up to 400 so I'm just playing it over and over again just to make sure that it sounds right to me so once I was happy with that first clip I'm then going to start um, adding in more clips from that same first clip so pressing the I button which highlights the clip all over again I'm just going to play it through the space bar and once I'm happy with the end clip, I then press O, and then I'm going to press E, and E drags it into, or pops it into the timeline. So I'm going to boost the flame again, and do the exact same thing throughout all the videos. Ugh, I mean, all the clips I meant to say. So I was, of course, replaying two clips over and over again, just to make sure I like how they sound. So I'm going to start a new clip, I button to highlight it. 
the space bar to play it, the O button to end the clip, and the E button to um, add the clip in. So I space O E, I space O E, over and over and over again. <laughs> So at this point my sister was talking to me in the video and I obviously didn't want that to be included. Um, so I was just endlessly hitting the I button just to make, wait until I got to the point where I talked to the camera again. And then of course I proceeded with um, adding in the clips from there on. So I space O E, I space O E. And then of course kept it going along and boosting the clips, or the volume of the clips. So then just to give them an overview. So once I um, get to a certain point, I'm obviously doing my foundation here. I obviously don't want to um, you know, have too much of my um, foundation in the clip. I wanted to get to the point where I was talking again. So I just wait till I get around to there and then I just start adding the talking clips in. Obviously the important talking ones, not where I'm rambling like I am right now. <laughs> and then of course I could just continue on. So when it comes to the makeup part that I'm doing my face, um, what are we up to now? Well, I'm still doing my foundation actually. So I was just still adding in important parts of being um, talking. Okay, so normally I do just some um, skim over. Especially if I'm looking for an important piece, like when I know I'm about to do a full blown makeup part. So, right about here, I am doing my eyebrows and I couldn't seem to find my product, so I left all those clips out. So, here I am just filling my brows in. So, I was looking for um, about like three to four seconds, I'll be doing my eyebrows. And by the time I found a clip I was happy with, I then included that into the timeline. So, you can see it just popped in. So, once I have gotten to the end of the video finally, I then just go through and Go all the way back to where the last clip that was boosted up and I go right around boosting the rest of the clips up, the volume of the clips. So we any little um, muted ones that I can see, but there's not much volume going on. I just leave them the way they are. And then I go on to the next clip, only because when I add the music in, it seems to drown out the um, background noise anyway. So I wasn't too sure what I was actually doing here, <laughs> moving the cursor back and forth. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing here, so I'll just figure I'll leave the clip in anyway. This is a bit of a waste of a clip right now, Shannon. Okay, so here at this point, we're now at the important part. Um, as you can see, there is a bit of a pause. So I was actually looking for something on my makeup desk. So I'm right clicking by putting two fingers in on the mouse pad at the same time, and that opens this box. So I'm going to split the clip by selecting that option. Two options now, I can either drag it across or re-click it again and properly split the clip again and then as you can see there's like not much sound going on here so I just hit the delete button and then it takes out that um, unnecessary part so when I play it through I get straight to the point when I'm talking. So at this point I want to boost up my um, exposure. So going to the paintbrush, uh, not paintbrush, the um, paint tray icon, the blue line is to um, boost in the brightness and the um, yellow slash blue line is to um, add some more warmth or more cool tones. So after that, um, all I had to do was just add continuously add the exposure. I didn't have to add too many cool tones. So going onto my Chrome web page now, um, I've typed in NCS, and of course the first time that popped up, I clicked on it. I liked how it sounded. So of course I then added it into um, well, when I paused it, popping up with that um pop up pad. I then called up um, or brought up um, YouTube Converter. Basically, it just turns a visual file into an um, audio file, into an MP3. I meant to say. Of course, convert it. It converted successfully. I then downloaded it. Don't worry, it's a safe version of downloading. I won't get um, you know, a cautious knock at my door. <laughs> so once it is finished um, loading, I then just click and drag it into the timeline, and of course, play around with the volume. And as the vo um, timeline is playing. I can then just alter the volume so um, I can hear myself talking and I just had the music as background noise I obviously need to drown myself out so there are times when I need to boost the volume right up on the actual um, computer and then I listen through so I want to make sure especially if I'm talking in the actual video I want to make sure that like, I'm heard more than what the music is but enough so that you can still also hear the music so here the music got a bit cut off short so I had to add a new clip of it in 
And because my video did go for quite a long time, about 15 minutes a long time, I had to keep on adding the same song in over and over again, which doesn't bother me. So for these clips I wasn't talking as much, um, so you're able to hear the music a lot better, as like a short entertainment background music. But for these clips I was talking again and um, the music I think was either too loud or too quiet, so I was just altering um, the volume. So altering it, then playing it so I can listen and then playing it again. Eventually I decided just to take it all the way down to 1%. So finally happy with that, I am now going to be um, clicking and dragging into a title so that I can fit my name banner into the screen. So get rid of the text title here because no one needs to read that. I'm going to put in It's a Beautiful Thing because obviously that's my YouTube name. And I'm going into um, Edit and Emojis and Symbols. I'm going to click on the Love Heart and I'm going to start by dragging the text out and just run the mouse over it a few times so I can make sure the text actually says it, it doesn't fade off too fast. So once um, I'm convinced that it won't go anywhere, I then click, click and drag it all the way across the timeline until it gets to the other side of the timeline to the end. And then when I'm happy with that, I then just click and double click, it highlights automatically and I'll change it to 58, um, or the size 58. And that way um, the title sits a little bit smaller, so it's not so bulky on the screen. So at this point I'm organising a thumbnail, I either post a hundred times in the video or I'll take photos with my phone. In this case, I'll just do it for this with my phone. So I do not pose around like a want to be a supermodel. <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, I just sit there, adjust myself around if I need to, and I'll describe a piece of hair, either look at the camera or away from the camera. So once I'm happy with um what I look like and the position I'm in, etc., um, I then click on the actual image in the um clip, Command Shift Four, and of course this little plus sign in the circle comes up. So click and drag and transparent screen will um, move across and that will take a screenshot. So then I open up messages and go into my sister's name. I then click and drag the screenshot into the uh, message box. And then it will of course send away. So we're going for a little trip into my sister's room, opening up her computer. Hello. Um, her desktop then pops up, so of course accessing and then opening up Photoscape, which is a much more expensive version, literally a more expensive version of Photoshop. So of course I pull up a um or bring up a three square option, and then of course I just play around with the photo, fit it to where I like it, adjust it, play around with it, spin it around, or tilting it, I should say. Do the same thing with my lips or the picture of my lips, and then the overall selfie of me. Once I'm happy to um, where that is, I'll just create a little bit of spacing so um, it disconnects the photos a little bit. So of course I then save it as thumbnail one, or just rename it to thumbnail one. So just make sure it saves as like a hundred, which is obviously the quality. Then I click on to um, editor. So now it's all one photo. So I'm just going to click on the sharpen tool. And of course sharpen my face because it looks a little bit fuzzy. So I'm just going to sharpen it so it's the main focus on the overall selfie picture. And once I'm happy with those changes, I'm going to click apply to changes, click off the box, and then this is the thumbnail done. So just saving as and then renaming it to thumbnail 2. So it automatically saves to the desktop after that. So of course I'm opening up messages again and sending it to her mum, which is going to go to her number, but her number also transfers to her laptop. Okay, so now it's received on my mum's laptop, so as you see the picture has successfully come through. So I'm just going to click and drag it onto the desktop. Don't mind this message, it's basically telling me that the picture already exists, so I'll just um, get both anyway. So back onto my editor, I'm then just going to take um, transitions. This is um, a face with black one, so whenever you open up my video on the internet, obviously on YouTube, for like two seconds the screen is black and then um by the end of the video my screen fades to black i know it just seems like that way so then i just go through and listen all over again but of course you know, edit whatever leftover bits there are and when i get stuck with something like this um whenever i'm clipping a clipping a clip if that makes any sense um the volume tends to you know stop around so i just drag it back 
So of course I checked in my Nikon card uh, since I don't really need it any the, on the computer anymore. So I'll wait until it's cleared from the desktop and then I'll take it out. And then once I know that I am happy with how my video is looking, how everything that doesn't need to be in there is out and everything that is in there is in. So I'll just look at the time on the actual white box and then look at the time on the editor and if it's the same, then I know that uh, my video won't export to a different type of video. So renaming my video of course to Smoky Teal Peacock Eyes. Now it's not literally going to take this long, I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> it took about 10 to 15 minutes just to export. So once it has successfully shared, and then I'm going to go down to Handy Danny Handbrake, which is a um, MOV to MP4 converter. Because my um, video is export to MOV, um, I need to put it to an MP4, and that way um, my videos will upload so much faster. So searching for my video into the um, option box or whatever you want to call this, I open it up of course. And as you can see, it sits here at MP4, so we just need to match it up with the box just below it. So clicking on MP4, and then start. And the line at the bottom is going to tell me that it's now um, exporting. I mean, converting. So usually I do go back into my video and just create a, um, an Instagram little mini video, but I'm this time I'm just happy to post off my thumbnail as my overall advertisement picture. So once my handbrake is done, I then just click OK. So as you can see down here, it is now successfully um, converted to a MP4. So now uploading will be so much smoother and faster. So going back into my camera, I'm just putting my SD card in there and then clicking to menu, format card. Formatting card just erases all the um, files, so my red camera is then ready to use all over again. So by the next day, I obviously open up the web page to upload once I've logged in and then clicking anywhere around that red giant red arrow, it doesn't have to be in a specific spot. So finding my video, click on it and opening it, whilst it's going to stop uploading. I then just select on the thumbnail where it says custom thumbnail, a little tiny box. I then obviously search for my thumbnail once I find the picture, I then upload that. So now the part where I just play around the tile, I'll just take off the small letters and you know replace them as the capital letters. I thought that my screen was a bit dim, it was actually my phone that was dim, my laptop was fine. So going up to the top left corner and click on the emojis and symbols, or oh, after click on edit, I then select the love heart. And then I just added some more to the title. And then I decided to add another love heart by edit, emojis and symbols, and then the love heart again. And then going to the description box, I then obviously fill in a little biography, I guess you could say. They're basically giving a very small description, even though I already explained the video in the actual intro of the video, but you know, still. It's nice to have a little description in the um, de description in the description. <laughs> so I do try to keep the description in the, um, in the, uh, you know, the biography in the description quite brief. So at this point I'm just about to dot down my um, social media details which you should of course follow me on. I am on all forms, well not all forms but just only one Instagram. I am on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. So I'm just jotting down um, you know, my details. So here circling around the um, song Heard, I'm going to, I'm not necessarily um, link but more of a list so I'll go into the um, option next to the uh, ad block. It's like a little two, three um, arrows or dots um, that you click on and you click on to downloads. And then I'll look for the song that I know I specifically last um, listened into the actual uh, video. <laughs> and of course I click and highlight. I kept thinking I was getting the um, highlighting wrong, but you know, I had to move the message a little bit further than I would have had it. <laughs> 
So you're clicking and highlighting the um, title of the song and of course I'm going to copy it. Go back to the YouTube tab, back into the box, go under the text even though when I paste um, the link in it still goes next to it. So I just enter it underneath. Then I carry on with the rest of the box. So at that point I just added in the um, editor with what I use and I just add a little cute uh, symbol of a computer just to represent um, you know, computer. So of course for camera I am obviously adding in a little tiny cute picture of a camera then it's spacing out so you can read it a little bit better. I think we're scrolling up to the top. Then I click on monetization, open it up, cancel out sponsored videos because obviously this is not a sponsored video, it's just a requested video. So sometimes I do go to schedule, especially if I know I'm going to be too lazy to get up in the next morning, like at the earliest morning, or um, I have, I want to specifically um, have my videos learned on a specific day when I have a lot to upload, but no, for this time, um, because I'm uploading it directly onto the day of my upload, um, I don't need to worry about schedule, so I can just leave it for um, the public option. So, however, whilst I am waiting, I do just browse YouTube. And yet the internet was pretty slow because I was uploading. <laughs> Eventually the page came through, so I was scanning through my subscriptions just to see who's uploaded what. So finally my video has finished processing, so I just obviously click on publish so it can send my video off into the YouTube world. So thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and got some good information out of it. And thank you to those who requested for real this. I had a lot of fun filming this. It was a bit confusing, but I did have a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all for my future videos. And I do hope you enjoyed this video as well. By the time you watch this video. Bye guys.